Hi, uh, today we're looking at programming the Atmel Atmega 168 or just uh, programming the Atmel chips in general. I'm using an ISP programmer, uh, same as the AVR MK2. It's got a 10 pin header uh, which can just plug into the circuit and the other end into the USB of your computer. It's got those lights that show it's working. The connections to the header uh, are as follows. I'll just draw out the header pin so you can have a look. If I put the data sheet up as well, you can see which pins they go to. We number them across for the header. Uh, one, two, and then down a row, three, four. Two go is your target voltage, supply voltage. That uh, can be three and a half or five volts, just powers the chip from your USB. Four, six, and eight are ground pins. So they want to go to pins 22 and, and pin eight uh, for the for the Atmega 168. It's different for the others. But for them, that's what you need. Uh, pin 1 is MOSI, and that needs to go to pin 17. 3 is left blank. 5 is a reset pin, which on the 168 is actually pin 1. Seven is SCK, and that needs to go to pin 19, as you can see. And then the final connection needs to be made to pin 18. Once you've got all those connections, you can start programming. But if I just show you how to make them, uh, the first one I'm going to do with a red wire is the positive voltage connection. So that's going to pin 7. Oh, and as you can see, we label the header as if we were plugging it into the page. So that's how they correspond to the physical thing. So that goes to pin 7 on the chip. I just speed up the other connection so you don't have to watch me do all that. So once you've got everything connected, it should look a bit like that, maybe a bit neater than mine. Um, we also need to test if this uh, chip's going to work, the programming's worked. So we want to add an LED which we're going to try and make flash. So I'm going to put that on pin 2 which is actually part D of the chip and yeah you need to make sure the LED the short leg is connected to negative I'm not actually using a protective resistor because uh, my chips only working at three and a half volts and I know that it'll be fine but if you're unsure visit our page on calculating resistors for LEDs, have a look and you'll be able to work it out from there uh, we also we need to make sure that our uh, one of our ground connections is connected to the negative rail that the LED is in otherwise it won't light like that so that's what that brown wire there is doing so now we can plug it in, just double check you've got everything in the right places and open uh, Atmo Studio. I'm going to start a new project, just the top option is fine uh, and you get something that looks like that. So we want to start by 
type in include under the include avr slash io want to include avr slash delay dot h that'll give us the, the pause between the led lighting and unlighting if that's a word we can delete all of that where it says please write your application code that's no longer needed just before the while one uh, i want to we want to type ddrd equals 0xff colon and that's just defining part d as an output part uh, that's where we've connected our led to by putting it on pin 2 now for this i'm going to use a do while uh, command so that it loops and i'm going to make a define an integer x by typing int x and we're going to put x equals 1 and we're going to do uh, this function while x equals 1 so this will effectively loop forever because x is always equal to 1 and to turn it on we want to put type part d equals 0x01 zero zero and remember your semicolon at the end of the line then we want a delay so underscore delay underscore milliseconds and for this i've used 500 and then we'll obviously want to turn it back off again to create the flashing effect so part d equals 0x00, zero x zero zero and then another delay exactly the same of 500 milliseconds and that should be everything just scroll through to make sure you've uh, you haven't made any mistakes and then you want to head up to the top and press the little uh, play button type thing next to debug and i'll debug it for you and if you've made if you've not made any errors this will come up uh, do you want to uh, select the second one down which is the avr isp programmer and click OK and it will transfer that onto the chip and you should end up with something looking like that if yours is not looking like that so much feel free to comment below or visit our blog uh, www.creatingelectronics.com uh, put a comment in there and I'll see what I can do to help you uh, and if you've liked this video please subscribe above or like us on uh, Facebook follow us on Twitter and if you head on over to our blog as well there's um, a printable sheet with all these instructions and also the source code to get the LED flashing and a more in-depth tutorial on how to do it. I hope that's been helpful.